Hey guys, so today I want to talk about lipstick and I feel like lipstick is something that we don't really talk about. It kind of gets like overlooked in makeup videos just because it's like quick and easy to do and I feel like everybody kind of like knows how to do a lipstick. Today I want to talk about lip shape and different things to do with your lipstick. So today I'm going to be using a matte lipstick and I want to do a dark lipstick just because it's fall and I kind of could like execute it a little better and you can see what I'm talking about here. The first thing that I'm going to talk about is lip shape. So depending on how you do your lipstick, um, your lips will always look different and depending on how you line them. So for example, I'm going to take this liquid lip and this liquid lip is from um, Lashes by Lena. I don't know if you guys know who that is. And I don't know the name of this because it, it doesn't have a name, but it's like the burgundy one. Um, it's really kind of red on here, but it's more of like a burgundy. It's like a deep red. So the first thing that I'm going to do is apply my lipstick first. So I'm going to apply my lipstick, and what I do is I apply it from the center. So I go like this, like this, and then I kind of pat it in just so I could have it on my lip okay so now that I did that now I'm going to take my lip liner and a lot of people do lip liner first but I do lip liner after lipstick doing lip liner after lipstick kind of helps you especially after doing a dark or bold lip because you're going to be able to see where and what needs to be filled. So your lipstick is kind of like already on. And then you could maneuver around it and fill in the spots that need to be filled. What I did is I just pat my lips together. And now I have my lip liner. This is Night Moth. Yeah, Night Moth by MAC. This is a classic lip liner. You probably know or own this one. And now I'm going to line my lips. So if you want a rounder lip, you're going to line your lips going from the bottom up. The reason why that's going to give you a more round lip because naturally your hand's going to go like this and give a rounded shape because that's just what your hand is naturally going to do. If you line it from the top of your lip, you're going to have a more narrow and pointy lip. So I'm going to do each way on each side so you can kind of see what I'm talking about. So for this side, I'm going to do a rounded shape. So I'm coming up from the bottom. Okay, so now I did this side, and I don't know if you can tell, but this side is a little bit more pointy, this side's a little bit more round. If I turn to the side, you can see that this one is a little bit more full, this side it's a little bit straighter. So like I said, naturally, coming from the bottom up, your hand is just going to make a rounder shape. Now if you're like, okay, I don't know what you're talking about, I don't see the difference, put your lipstick on, then try to line your lips each way, so from the bottom up, and then the other side from the top down and you'll see that most likely each of the sides are going to look a little bit different so now I'm just going to go back to this side and do a rounder shape because on my lip I like a rounder shape because I like fuller lips even though my lips are already full I'm going to do the side from the bottom up now that I did that I'm just going to go finish the little pieces I have at the bottom so now that I look officially crazy I'm gonna go back with my liquid with my liquid liner and I'm gonna try to fix this and I'm gonna go over that lip liner Okay, so now I covered that lip liner, and now my lips look a little bit too crazy, especially at the sides, it's not very neat. So what I'm going to do is I am going to take a concealer, take a flat brush, and I am going to clean this lineup. So I'm going to go around. So if you see my lip, it's not very clean. I have like some bleeding on this side. Not literally bleeding, but just the lipstick is bleeding, especially if you look at it from the front. Look, over here it's kind of messy. On the sides, it's just kind of messy. And over here, it's not that messy, but if you go like this, sometimes you get lipstick, like your lipstick gets messy down here. So I'm going to fix all of that with my concealer.
Okay, so that is how you would clean your lipstick up and will make your lipstick look like it was done by a professional. So basically, the most important steps of using lipstick is applying lipstick first, then using your liner, then cleaning your lip up, especially when you're wearing a bold or dark lip. Because when you're wearing a bold or dark lip, you can really see everything in all the lines and everywhere you need to be filled on the outer edges. And it is really important for you to clean a lip like this one up at the edges so it looks nice and clean and perfect and professional. I have one more little lip tip. So if you have like a matte lipstick, now matte lipsticks are not as matte as a liquid lip. And if you're a beauty lover, you will know this. But if you ever have a lipstick that's not matte enough and it's still like a little bit creamy and you want it to be super matte like this one. This one that I have on is super matte. But if you want your matte lipstick to be more matte, Take your translucent powder, dip a beauty blender or a sponge, whatever you use, in there and then pat it all over your lip and it will mattify your lip so much more. Okay guys, so that is the end of my video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you at least learned something in this video and I will see you in my next one. Thank you so much for watching and I love you guys. Bye!